What is up my peoples of the YouTube, Ahi Boy here bringing you another MW3 gameplay commentary. Today I have a Scar LMO app on the map Arcadin. I was playing some 6v6 domination with some of my friends and I'll just start off this commentary by telling you my class setup for the day. Um, today I'll be using this Scar L obviously with attachment, proficiency, silencer extended mags and another good combo when using the Scar L is focus, proficiency with silencer. I think that's good for close quarter situations. And uh, continuing with the class setup, I'm using an MP9 suppressed as my secondary, and I'm running Scavenger, Hardline, and Stalker as my perk setup with a special strike package of Slate of Hand, Assassin, and Blind Eye. So today's topic, let's dive right into it. It's whether or not colorblind assist helps you and technically assists you in your gameplay. So to kick things off, I want to say that I switched to colorblind assist, I want to say about a month and a half to two months ago, and so that's fairly recently, and ever since then, I've been doing pretty good um, in my gameplays, and I've been able to get more MOABs than before. I don't know why this is, but I think it's a psychological thing, maybe it's not just me, and that's maybe part of a reason that you should maybe try out colorblind assist, because I find that whenever I switch something up in MW3, whether it's brightness, maybe using a gun that I r rarely use, or in this case using colorblind assist, it really helps me in my gameplays. So maybe maybe that would work for you too. So I could I would suggest that you just try it out, give it a chance. And at first, when you start using it, you might notice that it's very vibrant colors. The orange is very. Uh, I don't know what the word for it, but it glows or something. I don't know what to say about it. But it's very in your face kind of thing. And at first it might get hard to, it might be hard to get used to it. But what I'd suggest is just watch a few gameplays in your vault. Um, maybe look at some recent matches and just turn on colorblind assist for just a few games. And it doesn't it doesn't even have to be in your vault. Just play a game live. Uh, with it on and don't care about your score don't care if you die you're just getting used to it get a feel for what colorblind assist feels like and after that then you you'll probably get used to it in just a few games and you'll be able to go ham with it and i remember when i after the first few games that i played with it i started getting i got i think i got a back-to-back -back trip uh back-to-back -back moabs three in three games in a row so that was pretty sick but another thing you'll notice when using colorblind assist that, oh, uh, damn, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, you'll be able to identify enemies at longer ranges. And that's like, it almost gives you a marksman perk without actually having marksman on. And I don't know whether they patched this or not, but when I first started using it, um, I noticed that when I was looking down the, um, the sights of my submachine and assault rifles, I was able to see enemies from long distances, um, yeah, with uh, without even having marksmen on. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing, and it's very easy to identify them at longer ranges just because the name over them is so in your face that you can just shoot at their name and then you're most likely going to hit them. But as you can see, I just called in my Moab. It only took about four minutes to get. Hope you enjoy this commentary and um, you'll notice right when it comes in you'll see four people leave the game right here on the bottom of the screen so i was pretty pretty mad about that because i only picked up two kills on the moab but you know whatever hope you enjoyed this commentary peace out 